Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 15th, 2019. Hey, the, today is the day we kick off third quarter earnings season. We begin that with Citibank earlier, um, later this morning, I should say, later this morning, and we're looking to see whether or not um, earnings this quarter can produce um, good enough results to support these very lofty prices that were that the bulls have priced everything at new record highs in the diamond spy and the queues on Friday. Can we begin to show results that will hold these numbers as earnings begin to roll out? Now, of course, there's not too much. I don't think there's too much concern about what the big banks are going to do. I think they're probably going to produce fairly well, having passed their stress tests a month ago, increasing their dividends. I think the big banks, which really will dominate the earnings calendar this week, um, should do pretty well. The question, the concern will be with the um, big techs that have been under pressure due to the trade war with China. Um, as we saw the results last night from uh, the China market, um, they have now seen the lowest, they reported last night, the lowest quarterly uh, growth results in 27 years uh, as part of a result of this trade war between the U.S. and China. So kind of keep that in mind. It's going to be a pretty darn interesting earning season with so many companies having already released warnings that they are going to miss analyst estimates. So it could be a little bit of a bumpy time, a lot of volatility. But who knows? It could be very, very exciting. There could be, there's always great earnings to be made or great profits to be, to be made during earnings season. We just have to navigate this road uh, very, very carefully. Let's take a look at the uh, chart here and see what we have going out, um, going on. Obviously, the diamonds here, new record highs. New record highs, and there's blue sky above here. So as the moment, we have no resistance to the upside. So the biggest concern that we have right now is after such a substantial rise in just the last uh, month and a half uh, to the upside is the question and concern how what happens if we start to falter. And right now we have some great support levels in the chart if we begin to uh, tip to the downside. And right now we've got futures actually pointing to a bullish open, a little bit positive open, a little bit of modest modestly positive open, but this is also still ahead of the Citigroup earnings that are yet to come out this morning. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. But right now, bulls are in control. They are maintaining that control and they are showing tremendous confidence as we uh, leap into this earnings season. It's going to be, um, well, I just think we probably should prepare for some significant volatility around this. We've had a, a, a major rise in the market ahead of earnings, which is a little bit unusual. And um, it's, there's going to be a lot of pressure placed on these companies to produce um, at these levels. So let's take a look at the SPY. SPY looking really, really good here, showing lots and lots of strength to the upside, breaking through new resistance high levels. In fact, I need to pull this line out of here. I was drawing up some charts and, and dropped that line in there. Um, if you take a look, our trend is very, very strong. Blue sky above. Support might be right in here, a little bit of price support. If we do start pulling back, well, there'll be some price support across here if we do start pulling back. But right now, there's nothing showing in this chart that even has a remote concern of bearishness. So... Let's see if the bulls can maintain this energy. And as you can see this morning, S&P 500 futures are pointing to a bullish open, a little bit of a tiny gap up this morning here in the market ahead of those Citigroup earnings. If we take a look at the NASDAQ, NASDAQ also new record highs, not quite as elevated as the diamonds in the spy, but as you can see, if we find some price resistance here, that would be a pretty good support level to watch for that next 
possible place for an entry uh, for continuation to the upside if we can hold in there. So trends are good, things are strong, everything's looking pretty good overall here in the queues. Now this is where the biggest question comes in on earnings reports and the tech earnings uh, will start to dominate next week. And it's probably going to be the bigger place of concern and that's where um, a, a number of companies have just strongly warned that they are not going to make um, estimates, um, analyst est estimates of earnings results. So this week might be um, perfectly acceptable as the banks start coming in, but next week is where the real question might start to be raised. Can we produce um, good enough tech results to uh, to show this. It's going to be hard to hard to know, and we're, we're going to have to be very very focused on those earnings reports and making sure that we're planning carefully around those earning earnings reports to protect ourselves. So I would be a little questionable. I think it'd be very questionable actually to be gambling on some of these earnings reports this quarter. It could be pretty get you know iffy on uh, which way they might go. So let's watch that stuff pretty closely um, as these results start to roll out. Let's see what IWM is doing. IWM, this doggone thing uh, continues to struggle, but this morning, as you can see, it's trying to lift up just a little bit higher here this morning, coming up back um, up to kind of its high here on Friday. But notice that we are still in this downtrend on IWM. Now, I can't tell you if this is a precursor warning um, of trouble ahead or what might be happening here, but certainly not the kind of stellar patterns that we're seeing in the Diamond Spies and Qs. So perhaps this will soon catch up and we have this little wedge pattern forming here that might suggest that could be the case. But one thing we always want to remember is a wedge pattern can signal an upside move, but we can also get that breakdown move. So let's watch this pretty closely as this chart develops. Hopefully um, the bullishness of the other three indexes will start to um, have some positive, um, positive signs here on IWM. We'll wait and see. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX has continued to slide south as, as we um, hold this downtrend here in the VIX and fear drops out of the market. We are down here at a 12 handle in the market. In fact, we're very, very close to a 11 handle in the market. And we're reaching down here in those areas where I really begin to worry about uh, complacency. Are we too complacent? Are we showing some irrational exuberance in the market? I can't tell you if that's the case, and I certainly don't want to predict that. But as we're down here testing um, this level of support, we'll have to watch that pretty closely as these earnings results start to have an effect on the market, whether or not fear will come in or whether or not we will drop back down and, and drop into these even lower levels of um, fear in the market. So let's watch that pretty closely as we move forward this week. Let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. You know, it's interesting to me that that four week new high, new low ratio really doesn't give us that directional look at the market or the potential directional look of market until we reach these um, levels which I've marked here. This is what I call the bearish reversal zone up in here. When we reach up in this area, we have stretched these um, companies just a little bit too far. And you can see the consistency at which this indicator works. We get up into this area. And by the way, we can stay up here for a while, um, as you know, and we can stay down here for a period of time. But notice that almost every time um, we reach up into this level, we start seeing those pullbacks occur in the market. So where we are right now, we're showing that we do have upside potential here still in the market. We could still press this to the upside. And earnings season is the perfect time when we can see these kind of lofty levels being held for a period of time. So let's watch this up here. If we push up higher, um, whether or not we let's watch that closely to see whether or not we can hold up here. Keep in mind that what this also means is if we draw draw a line across here, that that's 
kind of the room that we have to move to the upside. Um, this is the kind of room we have to move the, to the downside. So let's keep a pretty close eye on these prices as earnings results start to roll out because this could get a little bit dicey here for a while um, if those bears start coming back in. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar has a little bit to say about how the market's going to perform, but not a whole lot today. Let's take a look at um, this 8.30 a.m. report, Empire State uh, Manufacturing Survey. That has probably the biggest impact of the market th today, but unlikely to be a major driver of the market. So market's going to be mostly focused on some of those earnings reports coming out this morning, but we will we'll want to make sure to uh, to notice this coming out at 8.30 this morning. We also have a Fed speaker today. Um, after just a massive week of Fed speak last week, I, I really kind of doubt we'll learn anything new, and I wouldn't expect much in the way of price movement around that um, Fed speaker today. So pretty benign um, market this morning. Now, on the earnings calendar, we have uh, about 13 companies reporting earnings this morning with uh, Citigroup uh, being the number one earnings report. We're waiting for that um, result to come out this morning. But we also have J.B. Hunt. Uh, J.B. Hunt, a big trucking company, um, obviously that has um, ramifications to show you the strength of an economy as these, if these trucking companies are are busy and, and uh, moving goods back and forth across the company. Um, that'll be important to see, maybe a little marker of the economy of how that consumer economy is if we're moving those goods back and forth across the country. So we we'll want to keep an eye here on this report at J.P. Hunt today. And also, WTF, whoops, WTFC reports today. So we'll want to keep an eye on that WTCF report. Those are the major ones this morning as that earnings season begins to kick off. Remember, this is really going to ramp up. Relatively light day today. Um, tomorrow we'll have over 40 companies reporting with Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and those starting to chime in on their results. And it only grows from there. Uh, to a fevered pitch uh, that really begins next week where we start hitting uh, daily reports of 150, 200 companies reporting. So it's going to ramp up pretty quickly. So let's be careful. Watch that closely. Um, lots of results um, to, to chew on here as we move forward. Let's take a look at some companies that could be producing some pretty good signals for possible trades. But just before we do that, if you guys would do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that little bell icon that pops up um, as you do that, that makes sure that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I want to thank everyone for taking the time to do that. You know, guys, it's, it's you clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving comments that really helps the growth of the channel. I, I gotta tell you, um, Every time I read these these wonderful comments, they humble me. I, I, I am so appreciative of you guys. And, and this is honestly, it's not just lip service. I am so appreciative of everyone that takes the time to do that. means the world to me. And it really helps those algorithms show these vi videos to more people helping us with the growth. So honestly, it, it, as even though I try my best to put out um, good quality content for everyone. It, it's really the response from those who watch that make um, make the growth happen in this channel. And I thank you so very much to everyone. You guys mean the world to me. I do appreciate that. Also, by the way, feel free to share this video with any friends, family, Facebook, on Twitter, whatever social media outlet you might use. It's free to, to everyone to do that. So let's take a look at a few of those charts that really are starting to show some promise and things that um, we might want to be keeping an eye on. Let's take a look at STZ. STZ, now I've mentioned this stock a few times before, and this is one of those patterns that I like to watch for in a chart, and that is that break of a downtrend. 
where we're currently holding this little uptrend in the chart. And then I noticed this resistance level right here and we're consolidating the prices over toward the trend. Now this is what I call a pop out of the box pattern. I'm really waiting to see if STZ uh, completes this move over here, if we're gonna pop out early and really start moving to the upside. But STZ is one of those I have on my list to be watching for. And I wanna remind everyone, every chart that I show in this uh, these videos is not meant as a recommendation to buy or sell anything. It's a, uh, I'm very much a price pattern trader, a price action trader. I believe price is the most important thing. As you can see, I, I use very few indicators. I'm just working to read the story in the price action that's being laid out. And um, when I show one of these charts, it's it's not a guarantee of any, uh, any kind of move in the stock, just one to be paying attention to and evaluating. So remember, none of these videos are, or none of these stocks are a recommendation to buy or sell anything. They're up for potential evaluation. So STZ, keep an eye on that. MetLife is another one of those. There's that pop out of the box pattern that I just talked about. Stock in a nice current trend. There's that nice little consolidating move here over toward the trend and then pow. Um, it's, it's amazing how many times I can show this pattern as a stock consolidates very tightly over to its trend and we start to see those buy signals produced very, very close to the trend line. And beautiful chart here on MetLife. That's looking very good. You might want to keep an eye on that, uh, that chart. Another one that could be forming up here with a little bit more chop up here in this consolidation is KAR. KAR, nice little, nice little move sideways here over to its trend. We, we want to wait and see. We want to wait for that entry signal in here, but let's watch for that potential upside um, in that trade. The reason I'm always looking for an upside on a chart like this is because I'm already following the trend. I'm going to trust the trend to the upside. And um, until that trend breaks, I have to assume those bulls are going to continue to maintain uh, that chart higher. Let's take a look at uh, Texas Instruments. Texas Instruments is one of the pullbacks that I talk about quite a little bit. Here's that trend again that I'm paying attention to. And I watch for that pullback to support and trend and I alerted everyone to this chart in RWO and some nice money was made um, on Texas Instruments and now Texas Instruments is pushing against these all-time highs in the market so let's focus on that a little bit maybe uh, a little bit of rest in here and we'll see uh, Texas Instruments pop out to those new highs and there may be more opportunity here in that trade so kind of keep that one in mind another price pattern that I talk about a lot and I show a lot is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern that rounded bottom breakout pattern is when a stock crosses above its 50 day moving average and the 200 moving average is still above. That means the stock has been in a, in a tremendous downtrend and gets a little bit on the oversold side. And the pattern really is that 50 day moving average starting to turn and roll back up. Prices come above the 50, hold it as support, and then we start to see that upside move. Now within that upside move, there's all these patterns that continue to produce. So here we have that little pop out of the box pattern right in here again, that very tight consolidation that I alerted everyone to when this started to pop out. I think what I probably would do at this point is not chase this, wait for the next entry into this trade, perhaps a little pullback or a little consolidation, back toward that trend, just wait for that next entry into the position. And I think upside targets in here could be all the way up into this level if we continue to maintain this bullishness in uh, the chart. Kind of keep an eye on BBBY, BBBY up here testing this resistance high after this pop out of the box breakout. Moving on up pretty strongly, let's watch this and see if it can actually break through. And it's even possible right here that we can consolidate over, create that next pop out of the box pattern right here. So watch BBBY should be on your list for a potential trade.
So with that, everyone, I hope you guys have a great day today. I hope we have great profits. Right now, the futures are pushing to the upside. Dow futures are up 57 points. We'll have to wait and see how they react to the Citigroup earnings. But with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you all the best. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great trading day, everyone.